All right, in this video, we're going to do the 2015 AMC 10B Problem 21, which was strangely enough also the 12B Problem 21. To my knowledge, it's the first time that I know of that the test has had the exact same uh, 10 and 12, same problem number, but maybe it's happened before. Uh, Cozy the cat and Dash the dog are going up a staircase with a certain number of steps. However, Instead of walking up the steps one at a time, both Cozy and Dash jump. Cozy goes two steps up with each jump, though if necessary, he will just jump the last step. Dash goes five steps up with each jump, though if necessary, he will just jump the last steps if there are fewer than five steps left. Suppose that Dash takes 19 fewer jumps than Cozy. So we can say Dash equals Cozy minus 19. These represent Dash's jumps and Cozy's jumps. To reach the top of the staircase, let S denote the sum of all possible numbers of steps this staircase can have. What is the sum of the digits of S? So the first thing out the gate is you're not going to be able to use the answers to help you, so don't think about those. Uh, the next thing is, if you try to make equations, like, for example, you could try to say that the number of steps is equal to 2c or 2c plus 1. The problem is it's not accurate because if there was another step, Cozy wouldn't take c steps, he would take c plus 1 steps and it gets a little difficult to create nice algebraic equations that actually work. So you kind of feel like, well, how am I going to do this then if I can't make up those equations? And that's the solution tactic I want to target today. Um, I want you to just to think about just kind of guess and check. Just overcome your lack of ability to make good equations. Just say something like, I don't know, what if there was 30 steps? If there were 30 steps, then Cozy would take 15 jumps and Dash would take 6. So how many fewer jumps is this? It's only 9 fewer jumps. We're not even close. Let's jump up to twice that high. Let's go to 60. At 60, Cozy takes 30 jumps and Dash takes 12. Now we're at a gap of 18 between them. That's a lot closer to the 19 we need. If I go up by 1, both Cozy and Dash will go up by 1 because 61 will make Cozy take an extra step and Dash take an extra step. 62 um, will be the same thing. Cozy is still going to have one more jump and Dash is going to have one more jump. Let's try 63. Now Cozy is going to have 32 jumps, the same as if it was 64 steps. And Dash is still only going to have 13 because he goes up by 1 from 60 because he covers the last three steps in the final jump. This is a gap of 19 and 63 works. And because it works, 64 will also work because it's the exact same jump profile. Cozy still takes 32 and Dash still takes 13. But is this it? We should keep checking. If we go up to 65, Cozy will now be at 33 jumps, and Dash will be at 13 jumps still because 65 is 5 times 13. So that one doesn't work. That's a gap of 20. Let's go up to 66. Now Cozy's still taking 33 jumps because it goes into here. Uh, 2 goes into here 33 times. But Dash is now going to take an extra jump because it went over 65 and this gap is again 19 and 66 works also. Now, is there going to be any more like this? When I go up to 67, Cozy's going to take 34 jumps, but Dash is going to be at 14 and he's going to stay at 14 all the way to 70 where Cozy will take 35 jumps and Dash will take 14. You're at a gap of 21 here, a gap of 20 here, the gap's not going to get better. It's not going to get smaller. And so we can be sure then that 66, 63, and 64 are the only values that work. Adding these, you get 130 plus 63 is 193. 93 and 1 is 13. And that will be our answer. Again, don't give up on a problem because you don't know the beautiful solution. Make sure you try to overcome your lack of ability to create those kinds of equations and just figure it out. Okay, in this video we'll do the 2015 AMC 10B Problem 22. 
in the figure shown below, ABCDE is a regular pentagon and AG is equal to 1. What is FG plus JH plus CD? Okay, so we need to figure out you know, how to progress in this problem. We probably don't want to refer to these lengths as F, G, J, H, and C, D, so let's just give them letters. We'll say F, G is A. Um, we'll write on the side J, H equals B, and C, D can equal C. So we have A, B, and C for these side lengths. Okay, next thing up is that if you look at this side here, uh, D, E, A, we know that the interior angle of a regular pentagon is 108. And since this is 108, and we know ED and EA are equal, then this is 36. Similarly, this will be 36. And since the whole thing here is 108, 108 minus 72 is also 36. And so we get that all three of these angles are equal. Uh, similarly, over here, this will be 36, so we know that this is 1. The same thing is going to happen over here with 1 and 1. Now, if we look at JHC, I'm going to try and blow it up a little bit here because we don't have a lot of space. Um, it's got HI coming this way and J here and C here. Okay, so this is 1, and we know that this is 36. We also know that this is 72 and 72 here because these sides are isosceles. Um, if I go this way, I'm going to get 108 from up towards B here. And this angle here will also be 108. And therefore, this is 36 and 36. So what do we have here? We have 108, 36 and 36. We have an isosceles triangle which makes JH, which was B, equal to 1. Okay, so we're looking for A plus B plus C, which just became 1 plus A plus C. All right, next up, um, we can probably solve for A because we know that this JH right here is 1. We're going to use similar triangles. This triangle here, this length F, G, J, H, and C, D, or D, C, are all parallel. And because they're parallel with the same angle A up here, I can do AG over FG is 1 over A, and that has to equal um, 1 plus GH over JH. Um, we can also call this length here, um, gosh, what would that be? Oh, it's A also, right? Because this is a uh, regular pentagon in the middle as well. So we've got 1 plus A, 1 plus A over JH. And JH, we already said, is 1. So now we're just going to cross multiply to solve this. You're going to get uh, 1 equals A plus A squared. You'll move the 1 over. And now you can do quadratic formula to get um, negative B is negative 1. It can't be plus or minus. It can only be plus because it's a length in this case. Uh, the square root of b squared, which is 1, minus 4ac, all over 2. Okay, so then negative 1 plus root 5 over 2, um, which tells us, among other things, and you may have already known this, that regular pentagons are connected with the golden ratio. Um, this is not the golden ratio, but it's close to it. Okay, so it's 1 plus negative 1 plus root 5 over 2. Now we just need to find C, and we're going to use the exact same tactic. We're going to do 2 plus A, which is side AC. So we're going to have first actually 1 over A, same setup as when we found A, 1 over A, this long isosceles uh, side equal side equal to the base, over the base, has to equal 2 plus A over C. Okay, again, that's because this is similar triangles. 36, 72, 72, and the same thing here. This is 72 and 72 with 36. Okay, we cross multiply. C times 1 is C, and we get A times 2 plus A. Now, you can distribute, but actually, because A is kind of funky, I think I just want to leave it like this. 
Uh, negative 1 plus root 5 over 2 times, how do I add 2 to this? I'm adding 4 over 2, which is going to give us 3 plus root 5 over 2. Uh, multiply now uh, negative 1 times as negative 3, minus root 5 plus 3 root 5 is plus 2 root 5, and root 5 times root 5 is plus 5, all over 4. Negative 3 plus 5 is 2 plus 2 root 5 over 4, and now we can divide to get 1 plus root 5 over 2, which actually is the golden ratio. Okay, so now uh, we can uh, add this all together. If I add these two, the negative 1 and the 1 are going to cancel. I'm going to get root 5 plus root 5 is 2 root 5 over 2. The 2's cancel, now I've got root 5 plus 1. That is answer choice D.